Yes. Yes, okay, good. Switch, huh? This might be it. Bang. Cool. This is the free version of Gary Mod. Oh my god, yeah. I remember this. Some uh, mods require down like require downloading, like as an EXE file. I remember that. Yeah, Gary's mod or Gmod 10. Like you have to pay for that. This is like the last free version. I think this is the one everybody remembers. I don't know. I don't know, but I can finally actually play this game. I remember downloading this and like doing all the steps it told me to do and not being able to play it. It was because I never owned Half-Life 2, but I did own Gary's Mod, so I finally get to play Gary's Mod 9. Finally, after all these years, birdpoo.bsp. I finally get to play. Gmod 9. <laughs> hey. Fuck off, mate. Here, have some bread. Jesus Christ. That is a lot of files. Okay. I will do that. Mmm. Should probably hide this. Steam, please close. Jesus Christ. So Steam, you don't want to close, huh? I'll be the judge of that. I 
I love McChickens. Dude. If I had a choice between either Infinite Pizza or, or Infinite McChickens, I would choose Infinite McChickens. Make a beat out of that. Me opening up that soda, make a beat out of it. You guys want to hear a funny story? So, I got this, like, skim pack for Steam. Where, like, the library looked really fucking good. Like, you could clearly see the picture in the background. Which, it would have been a screenshot. You know, it was the one that almost every single YouTuber that showed their Steam account, like their Steam library had, like not a big YouTuber like Markiplier, but like just like, just like one of those like, oh, this is how you install mods for Half Life Two type YouTubers, you know the ones. But I got the um, the skin that they use. It's like, I think it was like clean or something. I don't remember. I got that. And then a day later, Steam updated their fucking library, and I had to get rid of it because it, like, it made the library unusable. But Steam changed the look of the library to look like that style. And it made me piss. It made me pissed. Dude, I wanted to die because I, because, like, I just got it, and now Steam's like, okay, since basically everybody has this skin pack, why don't we update Steam and actually do something? And make the library look like it. Just not as good. Not as good. Because of the new screenshot, I use a logo. Chrome. 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 What do you want, Chrome? What do you want, Chrome? Hmm. What the fuck do you want, Chrome? Are you talking about my 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 Fish Dome H two O license is gone? Or some shit. Oh wow, that was quick. Chrome. What in the fuck do you want? What do I have? Like the G Man virus or some shit? Get out of here, Chrome. I'm waiting for Steam to update Chrome. God. I actually moved to Firefox because of how much CPU Chrome kept using. And it got to the point where whenever Chrome like loaded a web page, because I never cleared the cache the cache of Chrome for some ungodly reason. But be but like it Chrome was un Chrome is unusable for me. And that's why that's why I moved to Firefox and like websites like Lomano.com has a, has a lot of trouble with Firefox. And I personally prefer Chrome over Firefox for some things. Like uh, there was like the source thing where like you can go through like the source of the web page, so you don't have to use network to like extract sprites and stuff. But you just had to use the net. Like it was like like this little like folder directory thing where you could check like the files of the website I don't remember what it was I don't know what it's called but it's like it's like network except you don't have to refresh the web page but yeah I'd use that to like extract files from certain websites that I have a picture of yummer that I've gotten from that fucking Spongebob game but yeah like Jesus Christ Steam settle down but yeah like Firefox doesn't really have that. They have a complicated version of it. Anyway, gotta wait for Steam to load. Man, I just I just wanna try out Gmod 9. That's that's it. Jesus Christ! Epic B Hop Simulator, settle down. Do I have Gmod 9? 
Look at these half light. Look at all these fucking half light twos. There it is. I remember uh, when my friend pirated Gmod 13 for me. I remember like he was using a video tutorial because he didn't exactly remember how to do it. He was using a video tutorial, and I remember like in the recommendations. There was one for Gmod 14. And I've always wondered, what was Gmod 14? I want to know what that was. Whoa. Oh my god, I have to fix the aspect ratio right goddamn now. It made both my screens go black. I think it was because it was trying to adjust the... Oh. Okay. That's okay. It's not. Okay. What do I do about that problem? Okay, settle down. Okay, so how do I fix that problem? G mod nine. Can't find background image. Okay, it looks like a lot of people have that trouble then. And since this version's from fucking, if I had to take a guess, 2009. Okay, good. So I was trying to use the funny Gary mod version that's for you. What costs more? Okay, Google. Half Life 2 price, Steam. Here's what I found on the web Half Life 2 is $10. Okay. Both Gary's Mod and Half-Life 2 cost the same. Oh, I need that. Oh, son of a bitch, why didn't it ask me for that? Alright, give me a minute. Is it 2006 or 2009? 2006. Okay, well... I installed a bunch of those SDK files for like uh, Steam games. Come on, Steam Fret. Get on my second screen. Oh, it's 100% uploaded. Okay, now I can close out of Firefox. Right. I have a bunch of games. Jesus Christ. Steam is crashing. Cool. Wow. It's time to do this blind. If I move this over to my second screen, it refreshes it. There we go. Tools. Okay, thank you. Uh, 2006. I have this. I have this. Okay, we get it. That was all on November 26th. How many times did he buy this? I think that's when my cousin like made a Steam account. I don't remember. Let's see if this works, then. Yeah, this works perfectly fine. I don't, I'm not in the mood to watch the fact. Remember when this would play? Mm. Oh, there it goes. Yo. Hey, guys.
guys try to find my cur- Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I put my cursor in the corner as I try to find my cursor. I didn't realize you guys can still see it. Son of a bitch. Okay, how come you don't work with my gears, man? Kaka, kaka. Let's do a heart. So how come Gary's Mod 9 doesn't work? Unless, unless... Yeah, I'm never gonna install that. Okay, actually, I need to open you. Oh, I could have just went to manage. Manage, browse up files. Okay, I could just possibly. Where's Gmod 9? Uh, fuck. I don't know my ABCs. There it is. Okay, so. Where is where is it located? Because I need to look at that error message. Because I have no clue where it's located. And when I figure out where it's located, I could easily fix it. Okay. Materials, console, start uploading. Okay. Materials, console. Alright. So... Okay. Which Gary's mod is this? This is the new one. Crash. This was when my game crashed a while ago. Okay. Well, this makes it a little bit more complicated. Okay. You see? Yes, eh? Why is my videos open? Oh, yeah, because I was uploading stuff. So where's this one located? Oh, there's... there's no materials. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay, where is this thing's actual files located? Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing the thing. Okay, so... Oops. How do I fix this professionally? Oh, you're so... You're so Son of a bitch. Can this internet not go down for five fucking minutes? This this internet going down was the exact fucking reason why I my eight hour stream didn't go good. There it goes. Now I'm back. My phone hasn't reconnected, but I am fucking not. Cool. And they're fucking pissing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I need to figure out a problem with my goddamn game. And my internet's saying, no. It's turning on and off. 
like it's appearing then disappearing then appearing then disappearing then appearing then disappearing that's not goddamn normal now you guys know my internet game like that's gonna do anything okay can you actually stay Open networks. That's a living room speaker. There it goes again. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. The internet is now successfully back. Well, I have internet on my phone. I don't know what you're talking about. Fucking internet provider sucks ass. Sunlink in fucking night 2019 December had a Christmas ad with gingerbread people doing Gangnam style. It made me so pissed. Alright. 2010 problem. I'm gonna DM Gary to tell him to fix Gmod 9. <laughs> Gary Newman, you need to fix Gmod 9. This is it's not working properly. This is in 4x3. Alright. How does one fix the funny Gary's mod? Okay, um, hello. Your goddamn background reminds This guy's background reminds me of the, uh, uh, what was that game called? Uh, bad rats. It reminds me of the bad rats background. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, remember that Steam icon? I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to fix Gary's bit torrent. This is like what everybody's computer had. They had Steam. Both Firefox and Chrome. VLC player. Some type of torrenting software. That's like everybody's like 2000, like fucking uh, Windows 7 background. Not background, but uh, icon. That's what they everybody had. <laughs> Is he using Internet Explorer? Bruh. Dude, Internet Explorer. He has Mobzilla Firefox and Google Chrome, gamer. Oh my god, do you see his search bar? Dude, dude. His search bar has great wallpaper. <laughs> he has two fucking tulip bars. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, let me check if this guy still makes videos so he possibly doesn't discover me making fun of him. Because <laughs> I'm going to feel really bad. Okay. Eight years ago, he, he died. D Max Prime 3. That's his last video. That's sad. I feel bad for him. Cool. The filefront.com and go into the half life 2 downloads and go into Gary's mod and you should be able to get Gary's mod, mod version 9 beta from there. And before you can actually do this, you need half life 2, half life 2 deathmatch. You don't really need Counter-Strike Source, but it would be advised, because you can turn off the, the loading of the... Get on with it. And there should be a it's in Source Mods. I have, lo I have located it. Motherfuckers. Dude, I'm quiet when... I'm quiet when my fucking stepmom's doing her goddamn stream. But the second I start recording, I hear a fucking dog. Okay, it's source mods. There it is. Okay. Console. It's missing its uh background video. Okay. Click on edit this. We're going to edit the single value. 
Now, down here it says steam at fire D. Uh, whatever number is to the right, which I believe is 220 or something like that, you should change it to 215. 215, okay. Fifteen should automatically say twenty. I need to change it to two fifteen. Mm. Okay. Anything else I need to do? Remember to change it to two fifteen to actually be able to get it to work. And once we've done that, then you should be able to run it now. Once you're in okay. Did it actually do anything? At 250? Now I should actually be able to run it now. If it doesn't, I'm going to smoke my foot. It immediately launched Half Life 2. Watch, it's not going to work. Yeah, because it, it's it's missing a thing. It's not a fucking error. Start uploading. What if? Hold on. Hold on. I have one little idea. Because it's start uploading, right? Can somebody just give me fucking like Gary's Mod 9 startup loading file? Loading. I think that's the wrong file type. I don't know. I don't know, does anybody have, like, I don't know, a download for that file? Episode 2. Materials console folder from Episode 2? And copy into Gary's Mod. Okay. I'm guessing that's, like, the only version that actually, like, has it. So two materials. Yeah, it doesn't have console. So, well, half life two. Materials doesn't even exist. Episodic, maybe. Doesn't have materials. Yeah, that doesn't exist. Okay, cool. This is two years ago. So nobody knows how to fix this, huh? Okay, let's go to Empires. Didn't work. I had the same error too. I think I fixed it by alternating here if I start scheme until it works. Now he's above us.
Okay. Does this actually work? I could like just like take one of these ones. I've killed a monk? No the fuck I don't. Okay, uh materials. Kunsel. The VTS power. Okay, fuck off, dude. Okay, let's see if that worked. Alright. See if this worked. Watch, it's gonna be like, uh, dumb dumb. That's not how it worked. But it's gonna work. Let's fucking go. Oh, no, there it is. Could not load library client. Let's verify the cache then. Okay. Can you please fuck? God damn it. Steam. Steam. Cool. You know, I'm starting to believe nobody's fucking word. Uh, cool. Okay, I'll let, I'll let Steam crash. Alright, let's try Face Punch fucking Studio Support. Open Steam, go to library. Okay, maybe if Steam would stop goddamn crashing for five minutes. A child. Yes, close it, motherfucker. Does this even mean anything while Windows report? Hang on, while Windows reports the problem to Microsoft. Does that mean anything? I'm really curious. I want to know if that does or means anything. Now let's Steam re update. Every time you boot up Steam, it says it updates. What does it update? Me and the boy's about to update Half-Life 2 in 2020. This will be Family Guy's graphics in 2015. Mm. Wait. I just want to play Gary's Mod 9. You got too much to ask. Let's fucking go. I'm 
see what I'm saying. Oh yeah, there's like 35 missing files. It's actually two gigabytes. Jesus Christ. I hate looking at my wallpaper on my phone so goddamn much. The wallpaper on my phone is a picture of annoying orange. And it just says, come. I hate it. I hate it so much. I want to show you guys. Let's see. It's annoying orange, right? And then just, come. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I swear to God, if you if YouTube automatically generates it as like, I don't know. Dude, the Half Life Iceberg. I've never listened to this one yet. Freaky. The hell happened well, there? I'm going to assume that you know most of the Half-Life storyline, but just to be clear, spoilers for the entire Dude, it minimized story, everything. Half-Life Alex. It didn't close out of them, it just minimized them. With everything out of the way, let's begin. No fucking freaky. Gary's my nine. Okay. Aperture rivalry. Half-Life and Portal are known to share the same universe. Two respective research corporations, Black Mesa and You're not Science, getting more my McChicken. You have food. You have so much food, one, it's overpiling. And yet, yet you want my McChicken? Run it. The dollars and cents slideshow. This slideshow details how Aperture Science gets treated unfairly by the U.S. General Services Administration. Aperture proposed for more funding than Black Mesa, but would receive less than what Black Mesa got in turn. These slides represent how competitive the two were at acquiring okay. funding. Another example of the pair's competitiveness is the Borealis, a ship Aperture worked on that house of Aurora Borealis. Portals and teleportation. And do you know how we they usually fix this? And neglected safety rules to beat Black Mesa and government funding, which resulted um, in the ship suddenly disappearing. Right. Playground screams. At the beginning of Half Life 2, the player will stumble upon a small abandoned playground. If the player interacts with the playground, sounds of children's laughter and screaming can be heard. Uh. These screams serve as an eerie reminder of the absent children due to the combine suppression field. The consoling couple. While going through a civilian sector in Half Life 2, shut the fuck up! There's literally no smooth left on the table. The invasion and the grim future of humanity. <laughs> the couple can be seen again in episode one, inside one of the resistance outposts, kitted with rebel outfits. I'm not the done yet. I hear the conversation as they joke about Isaac Kleiner, Odessa Covenge, the resistance, and their situation in general. In episode two, two skeletons sitting on a couch can be found in the Outland, implying that the couple had been killed and left behind. This is only a joke from the devs, as the couple can be seen again at White Forest near the end of the game. The G-Man's briefcase. The briefcase's interior is fully textured in Half-Life 1, where a pistol, paperwork, pencils, some sort of computer, and his ID, or passport, My passport? are shown. 
This point could also refer to Half-Life Alex's ending when the G-Man gave his briefcase to Alex, resulting in the two of them time traveling to Episode 2's ending with Eli's death. Black Mesa visiting Zen. Hmm. When Freeman starts to go through Zen, it becomes obvious that Black Mesa had visited the border world before. Dead scientists with HEV suits are scattered around the landscape. With health and uh, what about Gmod? These dead scientists are the survey teams mm. who made secret uh, expeditions to collect UI? data from Zen through the teleporter in the top secret Lambda complex. The Half-Life 2 beta leak. Around September 2003, Half-Life 2's early source code was leaked after someone cracked into Valve's internal network. Valve no. CEO Gabe Newell posted online to explain how he realized that Valve's servers had been compromised and asked the public for assistance in finding the culprit. In June 2004, hmm. Valve announced that they had found the person responsible for leaking the game. 10 the game had been leaked by German hacker Axel Jemvin, who admitted to Newell through email. This hatched a plan where Valve would invite him to a job interview. The FBI would arrest him nope. upon his arrival. The German government uh, the situation what would I and arrested Jemvin themselves in November 2006. He was put on trial for the beta leak and other crimes such as the creation of Trojan virus, a GoBot. I see the goddamn everywhere. Websites are people that had hosted the leaked content. They tolerated the use of the beta material as long as they were used in free products. The beta showcased plenty of cut maps, enemies, and weapons. City 17's art style looked more like a bleak Washington D.C. rather than the. Well, I got, I got, I got it pretty close today. anyway. The storyline was much darker with the combine draining oceans. I would really prefer Fisk got him work though. That will be discussed further soon. The Pistol 3. Around 2017, Half Life series writer and former Valve employee Mark Laidlaw uploaded on his blog a post titled A Pistol 3. Wait, wait, what? Which takes form of a letter given to the player. Most of the Half Life characters had their names replaced, such as Gordon Freeman, now named Gertrude Freeman, and the G Man being called Mrs. X. So the story goes. After the funeral of Eli Vance, Alex and Freeman journey out to the Arctic to explore All of a sudden the corners that Judith Mossman sent out to White okay. Forest. As they reach their destination, it turns out that the corners are the location of the Borealis, where the Combine have already begun their research on the ship. Freeman and Alex then get captured and are presented to Dr. Breen, who had his consciousness implanted into a grub. Breen is fearful of Gordon, as he remembers how he originally died and begs to be mercy killed. It's up to the player to choose whether or not to end Green's suffering. The two then rescue Mossman from a combat right. prison, causing a tense situation. I guess now it just works. Mossman, as Alex believes Mossman is responsible for her father's death. They then board the Borealis, which continues to shift through time and space. I don't know what I did. Oh they my catch God. glimpses of the Seven Hour War, along with traveling to distant alien worlds. Mossman and Alex continue to argue over what to do with the Borealis. Mossman the Royal Borealis. This time is against the this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely with him. Alex wants to destroy the ship to Black Peter 16 by 9, right? Wishes. She then kills Mossman and arms the Borealis to self oh, intending to destroy the Combine's ah. command center. All of a sudden, the G Man appears. Alex recognizes Black Peter 16 by 9, if I'm correct. And the two depart reality together, leaving Freeman behind. Go. To realize that the ship's self destruction no, would do little in destroying the Combine Empire and begin to accept the resistance futility. Then, the right. Borealis appear and rescue him from imminent death by teleporting Yo, what the fuck? Because Lee Law wrote the post after he had left Valve, the post had been the subject of intense I don't discussion have whether or not it's canon to the Half Life storyline. What are these? At the time, the story was a solid plot synopsis of no, the no, mystical cancel, episode cancel, 3. Cancel, cancel. Now, the Pistol 3's continuity with the series is. Non canon. Since Half Life Alex's ending retconned episode 2's ending with Eli being resurrected and Alex being captured by the G Man. Dr. Breen is a good guy. There has been a hey lot guys, of discussion right in the Half Life community about Combine whether or not Dr. Breen is the savior of humanity. He did negotiate with the Combine, so humanity got a somewhat better fate than what the Combine could have originally done, man. which was making the humans extinct. It could also be argued that he desperately tried to capture Freeman. Half-Life 